Hey friends, I have a name that sound game for you. I'm gonna play you a sound on my iPad and you get to guess what it is. Are you ready? Here we go. Do you guys know what that sound is? If you guessed dial up internet, you are 100% correct. Congratulations and give yourself a high five. That is the sound that got me into trouble in the summer of 2002. I was doing an internship on the north side of Chicago at a church and I had a host home that was hosting me for the entire summer. I was a complete stranger to them and they took me into their home. Their names were Paul and Helen. And Paul and Helen lived pretty close to Wrigley Field and um, they lived in a beautiful house. And so I occupied the entire uh, lower floor of their home and so by internship standards, I was doing pretty well for myself. I had my own bedroom, my own bathroom. There was a whole living room downstairs and an office. And Paul and Helen allowed me to use their computer in their office for checking my email and internships for purposes. And I had also gotten into the habit of using it uh, for AOL Instant Messenger. AOL Instant Messenger was a big thing back in my college days. All my friends used it uh, to chat with one another and so that's how I was kind of uh, staying in contact with them. I was a little bit lonely in Chicago. I didn't really know anybody. So a lot of my nights were spent in front of that computer talking to my friends. And one morning, Paul and Helen called me up to the kitchen and they said, Carrie, we need to talk to you for a few minutes. And I said, okay, what's going on? And they said, well, we just got our phone bill and it was a lot more than usual for that dedicated phone line downstairs that only uses the internet. And when they said that, I, I felt awful and my stomach immediately dropped and I knew that I was probably a lot responsible for them incurring that very large bill. And so um, they just wanted me to know what had happened so that I would stop using it so much. But because I felt so awful, I wanted to repay them immediately and so I offered to use some of the money that I was earning from my internship to pay them back. And they just so graciously declined. and. They could have so easily judged me in that moment. You know, I was a complete stranger in their home and they didn't know me. And so um, they could have judged me very easily, but instead they just gave me a lot of grace. And I'm very thankful for that. Pastor Robert in his sermon this week said this, that we need to trade our judgmental attitudes for grace-filled ones. And I'm very thankful that Paul and Helen gave me an opportunity uh, for grace instead of judgment. Uh, Paul and Helen were an incredible couple, a very godly couple. Um, they were incredibly hospitable. They were missionaries at heart. They loved to serve the lost and the broken and the hurting. And they just wanted me to have a great internship experience. They were invested in getting to know me and who I was. And they gave me a lot of awesome opportunities. We went to a lot of Chicago Cubs games. We went to comedy shows. We went to a lot of restaurants. and. They were always very generous and paying for those things for me. And even after my internship was over, they invited me to come back to their home whenever I wanted to. And so I often um, flew there with friends from San Diego or took a road trip with some friends from college. And we just crashed at their house and toured the city while we were there. And it was so fun. And they were so incredibly happy to have us there. And uh, when I think about Paul and Helen, this verse comes to mind out of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, and it says this, Be kind and tender to one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. And they were incredibly kind and tender towards me, and I knew that it was because they loved Jesus, and they were so willing to give me grace. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, and even now, as I'm an adult and I have my own children, I often use Paul and Helen as an example to remember with my own kids when they make a mistake to not hold it over their heads but you know tell them what's up you know this needs to change and then give them an opportunity to do it and to offer them grace um, just like Paul and Helen did for me and so I'm very grateful that the Lord placed them for uh, a season in my life thank you guys for listening to me for a few minutes and I hope that you have a great night